This is the finished product of what you'll be learning how to create using jQuery switch class method to affect CSS styles to transition in an animated fashion from one style to the next. So you can create something like this animated horizontal menu system. So when the user's mouse goes over one item, you can see it animates to a different style. And then when their mouse leaves that item, it animates back to the original style. So we'll show you how to use the switch class method to make very simple horizontal menu systems with animated buttons. All right, I'm working in Dreamweaver CS5 as my HTML text editor, but really it doesn't matter which one you're in because we're not even going to go into design view. We're just going to deal with the code. So you can be a notepad, notepad++, whatever you want. I don't care. All of this code is going to be free for you to copy and paste where it plays under the video at developphp.com. And I'll surely put a link to that page in the YouTube video description. That way you guys from YouTube can just look in the description of the video, click on it, and get to the code if you want it. I'll create a new HTML file. I'll go into the code view. Now I'm going to save this file as index.html on my desktop. Now the first thing I'm going to do is apply the HTML to the body tag of the page. So in between the opening and closing body tags, I'm going to put this code here. I'm, going to, I'm not going to go too in-depth about the HTML or the CSS because the HTML is very basic and the CSS is very, very basic. I will go in-depth about the jQuery that we put in place, but I'll briefly discuss this. So in between the body tags here, you can see I have two div tags. One is just a banner which really has nothing to do with the menu system, and then the other div is ID of menu which has everything to do with the menu system and you can see within that there's just simple a tags and if I line separate each one you'll see exactly what it consists of and you can see that each one of my little links has a class set on it of style one which we're gonna put the CSS in place in the head tag in just a second for that style and then here you link to any page you want to in the href so I'm going to put it back the way it was with each link right on top of the next or right after the next one with no spaces in between each because I want them to line up the way we had it lining up here all right next to each other and there's no spaces in between those buttons and that's what I wanted so that's why I set up my links that way it's a very easy way to do that and that's it for the HTML there's nothing more to it we're just going to put some CSS to affect this top banner and then we're going to put some CSS to affect this menu div and all these little links inside of it. Now if you look in design view you'll have something that looks just like that. Now up here within the head tag of the document you can see we have a couple of lines there. I'm gonna go under the title tag and I'm gonna put in some style, for CSS styling. So you can see here is my style tag complete and there's really not much to it. I have style 1 and style 2 here and you can remember on all of my links they had a class of style 1 to start out with by default. So they have this style 1 applied to them right when the page loads. We also have some styling for the body tag of the page to give the background a certain color that we want and make all the margins 0 pixels. Then we have some styling to affect this top banner div right here. So this styling on the top banner div defines the background color of it, the font size, the color of the font, and then the padding that you want for it. Now the menu styling, this is the actual menu that all of our little A tags are inside of, all of our little buttons. And I gave that style rules of background color, the border color, how thick the border should be, the style of the border, and then padding. Now that's it for the CSS and the HTML. Now right up above the style tag, in between the title tag and my style tag, I'm going to add a few lines that are going to include some JavaScript files in one CSS file. So these are the four lines I just put in place, and you can see that they link to googleapis.com and jQuery.com. And it brings in one, two, three JavaScript files and one .css file in order to make this application work. Which if you want, you can go download the jQuery files that are needed straight from these URLs. because People cannot hide CSS files or JavaScript files. So you can actually navigate to these files if you want online, download them, put them on your server, and link to them from your server instead of linking to them from Google APIs or jQuery.com, which is totally safe to do. So you can just link to it like I did here. Or you can choose to actually go get those files, put them on your server, and simply change the source link to that file. 
Now once we have those in place, we can slap in some jQuery now within a script tag to affect our CSS and HTML to make the menu system work. So right here above the style tag again, let's pop in the final bit of code that we need. And you can see here I just popped in a script tag. Within it, there's some jQuery functionality happening. And it's only eight lines of jQuery. And I'll explain it in depth so you guys can really wrap your heads around what's going on. And before we get started explaining it, just want to let you know we're using the switch class method in jQuery, which is well documented at their site. We're also using the mouse enter and mouse leave event methods. Okay, let's separate these so you can see both of these little mechanisms. This little mechanism is for the mouse enter when somebody's mouse goes over one of those buttons. This little mechanism is for the mouse leave method event when somebody's mouse leaves one of those buttons. You can see that I'm targeting each of the A tags inside of the menu system. See here down in my HTML you can see I have div ID menu. So I'm targeting that here in jQuery. And then I just put space A to make sure that I'm targeting all of the little A tags inside of that menu system to apply the mouse enter and mouse leave event methods. So when the user's mouse goes over any one of those A tags inside of the menu, the mouse enter event method will fire off this function which will execute this line of code. Basically that's how it works. And then when the mouse leaves, this one fires off to execute this line of code. So what happens in this line of code here is we use the switch class method on this. And we use this as an identifier for whichever little A tag happens to be the target A tag that the user's mouse is over. So you can use this to identify that and use the switch class method for that element. And the switch class method allows you to place three parameters or arguments inside of it. The first argument is the style that you want to change from. And then the second argument is the style that you want to change to in an animated fashion. And the third argument is the duration, which is the time that it takes to complete the animation. Basically, your animation's speed, and you can adjust this number to be whatever you want. So on the mouse leave mechanism, it's pretty much just the opposite. You go from style 2 to style 1 in an animated fashion with whatever duration that you like. And that's pretty much how it works. And I'll put some comments in here. Okay, there's some nice code comments for you. And I'm not sure if I discussed the document ready function that you see that our little eight lines of code here are wrapped within. The document ready function is, and it's, it's documented at the jQuery website, so you can go read all about it. But basically what document.ready function does is it will allow you to make sure that all of the elements within the page are loaded. So that way if you have any event methods or if you're targeting certain elements within some jQuery that's in the head tag of your deck of your document you can make sure those things are accessed with the document.ready function or if you don't want to use the document.ready function you can just be sure you put this script tag with all of this jQuery code underneath all this HTML that it's affecting and then you don't have to use the document.ready function but sometimes it's best to have your code up in the head tag of your document and use the document.ready function. Okay guys, so that's how it works. Let's see, let's press Control S and F12 to test this in the browser. Yep, you can see we have the desired result that we wanted. We're using the switch class method and the mouse enter and mouse leave event methods of jQuery to render this animated menu system.